Hello. Uh, today I want to talk about um, something called attributes. Um, attributes are basically the things that are available in the DOM on a element. Um, so, for example, if you have a div, um, so we'll have a user div here, class is an attribute on the div. Uh, we can add other attributes um, like ID or um, like inputs have things like value. Um, so if you do like control, controls, control space on a Mac, you get this list of attributes here in VS Code. Um, so you can, you can attach JavaScript through attributes. Um, there's, there's a lot of different things. Um, and so Ember differentiates uh, between things that are Ember specific and things that are just DOM. Uh, so things that are just available on regular elements that don't matter to Ember necessarily. Um, so here I have a, a user component, which is called user. It's defined user.hbs. Um, and inside it's just a div and then my name. So let me just, oops, not what I wanted to do. So my name shows up there. Um, and so here we, so if we do like inspect on here, we get, so just the body and then here's our component pretty much. Uh, there's nothing else there. And so if we go back to the template here and we add class, oops. <clears throat> equals my user, um, nothing will happen. So nothing's changed on this. It still says user in Ilya. Um, let me also just add some styles here. So my user will come let's rename this. And once that works, we'll see the change. It should change to the right color. And so to be able to use these uh, attributes, um, we can pass them down. So basically anything that's defined here will be passed down to where we want it. So to do that, we would add um, dot, dot, dot attributes, which is called splat attributes, I guess. Um, and as you see now, we have user and my user. So in our case, it combined um, this that comes before it with the ones that are available here. Um, I think that only happens for certain attributes. Um, I, would, I, do, I do not know exactly which ones, but if we moved class to be after it here, uh, we'll actually, okay, I thought for sure, I thought that was gonna change, but I guess not. I guess it, maybe that's a bug or maybe they changed how it works. So I was hoping that if you move dot to dot attributes before it, then it overrides class. Um, but it doesn't. So maybe, maybe class works differently. Um, so yeah, so the position does matter. I'm not really sure. I don't really have a good example. Let me see. So ID test, test ID. So there's an ID there. And if I do an ID here, oops. okay, I mean that overrides it. So IDs maybe matter, or maybe IDs. Let's see. Or maybe everything gets overridden by default. So I'm not really sure on that. It looks like. 
Okay, so, okay, so basically, okay, so ID gets overrides anything that is provided by the outside. So if you don't want users to override um, a certain value, you just define that value after the attributes. Um, for classes, it doesn't really matter. It looks like you can find on either side, they, you, they get merged together. Um, and so that's how you would pass down any attributes down to a component. And so, I mean, if you have, so sometimes it makes sense to be on the top level component here. I mean, top level element, um, but you could have another uh, value in here. So like H1, and we'll move my name into there just because no, we won't use H1, let's do H2. And we can put attributes on here. And there we go. So like all the, so now there's a div that doesn't have anything on it. And then the part that's exposed to the person using the component is the, is the H2 here. So um, it's easy to forget dot, dot, dot attributes. Uh, I think there might be a linting rule, but I'm not really sure on that. But that's, that's kind of what I want to show today. And um, hopefully that's useful for you. Thanks for sticking around.